سیدنا ابو اسحاق ابراہیم خواس رحمۃ اللہ تعالی علیہ اسٹیٹڈ اور کاروان واز آن اٹس وے ٹو ہرم فار سم ریزن آئی گاٹ سیپریٹیڈ فرام دا کاروان اینڈ کنٹینیو ٹو واک فار تھری ڈیز ڈیورنگ دس پیریڈ آئی نائی دا فیلٹ ہنگری اینڈ تھرسٹی نو ڈڈ آئی نیڈ ٹو پاس یور ان ایکسیٹرا ڈیورنگ دا جرنی I entered a lush green garden in which there were many trees with fragrant fruits hanging everywhere. There was also a small pond in the middle of the garden. I thought to myself that it was as if I had entered paradise. Suddenly, a group of well-dressed people with turbans on their heads arrived. They greeted me and I also greeted them. It seemed to me as if they were jinns because it was a very strange place. Then one of them said, We are jinns. There is a difference of opinion among us about a ruling. We were privileged to listen to the sacred word of Allah Azza wa Jal in Laylatul Jinn in the blessed voice of of the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam by virtue of the sacred word we have been relieved of all the worldly responsibilities by the grace of allah azza wa jal this pond has been made our abode i asked them how far the place was where i got separated from my hajj caravan hearing this one of them smiled and said O Abu Ishaq only Allah Azza wa Jal knows secrets except a young man no one came to the place where you are present at the moment that young man also died here then pointing towards a side he said here is the tomb of the young man the tomb lay at the edge of the pond and was surrounded by such beautiful and fragrant flowers that I had never seen before. Carrying on his conversation, the jinn said, Between you and your caravan is a great distance, which will take months to be covered. Sayyiduna Abu Ishaq Ibrahim Khawas, Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali stated, I then asked them to tell me something about the late young man. One of them replied, We were once having a discussion about love sitting near the edge of the pond. During the conversation, the young man suddenly arrived here and greeted us. We also greeted him and asked him, "O oh young man, where have you come here from?" He replied, "From a city of Nishapur." We asked him, "When did you leave the city?" He replied 7 days ago we further asked him the reason for departing from his country in reply he recited the following commandment of Allah azza wa jal A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim وَأَنِيبُوا إِلَى رَبِّكُمْ وَأَسْلِمُوا لَهُ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِيَكُمُ الْعَذَابُ أَنْ يَأْتِيَكُمُ الْعَذَابُ ثُمَّ لَا تُنْصَرُونَ And turn towards your Lord and submit in his majestic court before this that the punishment comes upon you and then you may not be helped we again asked him some more questions while replying to our questions he suddenly gave a loud cry and his soul left his body we buried him here and this is his tomb may allah azza wa jal be pleased with him
Sayyiduna Ibrahim Khawas Rahmatullah Ta'ala Alayhi said, I was very impressed by listening to the qualities of the young man. I went close to his tomb in admiration and saw a very big bouquet of narcissi, i.e. flowers, near the head side of his tomb. The following line was inscribed on it. هذا قبر حبيب الله قتيل الغيرة i.e. this is the grave of a friend of Allah Azzawajal. He was killed by modesty. There was also a piece of paper with the meaning of the word Al-Inaba written on it. Jinns then asked me the commentary of that ayah, so I explained it to them. They were very pleased and their difference was removed. They said that they had found a very satisfactory answer to their query. Sayyiduna Ibrahim Khawas Rahmatullah Ta'ala Alayhi said that I then fell asleep. When I woke up, I found myself at the place of Tan'im near the masjid of Sayyidatuna Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha in Makkah Mukarramah. I had a bunch of flowers with me that remained fresh the whole year. After some period of time, it disappeared. May Allah Azzawajal have mercy upon him and forgive us without any accountability for his sake. Ameen bijahin nabiyyil ameen. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam.